Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the new hunter trait that was recently added to Identity V Warp. This kind of came out of nowhere. I don't think anybody was expecting them to just drop a new ability. And I will say, now that I'm looking at it, the fact that there's only eight and this game's been out since 2018, I believe, uh, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. But nonetheless, still, I've been seeing a lot of good things about this and I've had some time um, off, off camera and off stream basically to kind of mess around with this trait and kind of just see what I'm able to do with it. Now, the thing that I think a lot of people have probably already picked up this trait is the equivalent of like a mini teleport combined with a slightly slower blink and this ability i think is going to be really helpful for some of the hunters that just lack in map pressure because the thing about this trait that's different from regular teleport you can't go back and granted the distance might not be super far but you are able to basically close off distance as well as when it comes to camping you're able to basically if you know where the rescue is coming from um you're able to use the gate warp in front of the survivor hit them come back to the chair and be ready at a much faster pace than you would be able to with teleport and then just relying on the character speed to get back to the chair or vice versa um so some characters that i feel like are probably going to benefit from this a whole lot that we might start seeing a change in soon um, and again, this is just my opinion, but I honestly think that I honestly think that Bonbon is going to be really good with this. I think Dream Witch is going to be really like a whole lot more powerful with this because it's just an additional thing to help her out with her sandwiching as well as just map pressure. Um, so it's going to be a little bit. It's going to be pretty insane because you could leech, you could go through with her main body, you can go through the gate, leech somebody, come back, and then pressure either with the leech that you just had. Um, and if you have already like your main follower and another leech at the chair, I mean, you're able to just speed up your progress a whole lot faster. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, but with Nyad, I wonder if you're able to throw down the harpoon, warp through the gate, and if you're too far, if the harpoon, when the harpoon pulls back, I wonder if it's going to make like a giant radius of water. If that's the case, that's going to be really good. Probably Robbie, and then... Um, honestly, like some of the more chase chasey characters, I feel like it might just help them out with kind of securing their camp if they if they're like just really good and excelling with their chase, but they're kind of like needing help in the camp area. You know, you could see somebody like Bloody Queen. You'd be able to go through the gate, mirror back to the chair, hit them, um, and it would just save you like a lot of time. Or just walk back, like walk back through the portal and basically get there faster without having to waste your mirror. Like I think that's gonna be really good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hop into a match. I know it's not available in rank yet, and unfortunately my account is too high for a quick match, so I'm gonna go on a friend's account. Is she on? No, she's not okay. I'm gonna go on a friend's account and we're just gonna try this out. The one thing that I will say about this trait be very careful with it because similar to sculptor's pick the button itself is really sensitive when you try to drag it out so be mindful and you have time to like adjust it don't think you just have to drag it and then immediately push the button like give yourself some time to set up like where you want it and also be very careful when you're trying to put it through walls because sometimes depending on how big that wall is or if you're trying to do it through like a building you might have to hold it out a little bit farther just so you don't end up basically using the portal in place because then there you waste it there's a couple of things. It's like a little mini teleport as well as a slightly longer version of Blink. And what I mean by that is you can use the warp gate similar to Blink, how you would just put it over a wall and you could go to where you want to where you want to place yourself or where you want to go. But you kind of need to be careful since unlike Blink where it's instant, the gate, it kind of takes a second and you're in the animation of traveling. So just be a little bit mindful if you're trying to use it um, to like bypass a pallet that's thrown down to like get to the other side or something you really need to be careful with that um just so you don't end up wasting it since you only have a limited time to basically go through the portal now for this team comp i got perfumer roach little girl and prospector i'm on red church uh i should be fine i should be fine okay yeah, so we'll go ahead and just hop into this, and I am going to start off with Warp. I think that this trait will be really good with Dream Witch just because it'll allow me to basically pressure faster as well as just leech faster and move my follower um, in the spot that I want it to go to, whether it's by a Cypher that's in the middle of the map or if it's on the opposite side of the map and it j I just want to put myself a little bit closer so I can kind of patrol the area or go through gates and stuff. We'll see if I'm even able to do that, but for now, let's just go ahead and hop into this and try it out. With the gate 2, 
um her leeches similar to all the other traits her their leeches also get their own little gate so you're able to quickly like use it a lot more and just basically put yourself wherever you want to i think like i said i feel like this trait is going to be good for not only just pressuring ciphers but as well as cutting off rescuers when you're camping and i feel like that's going to be a great addition to this game so here i start off here at top broken i'm going to go ahead and go to mid breakables and then just see who's hiding back here somebody always spawns back here just don't know who i think two people might spawn here actually yeah let's see so somebody broke the wall i think yeah okay so this is toy merchant somebody else is running okay it's priestess i'm gonna just use up her portals and waste them i didn't really want to go after toy merchant just because i'm oh she tried to pull a fast one on me Okay, I'm just going to send it to the gate. And now use my warp. Oh, I'm just baiting her. I might not even need to use it. Yeah, okay. Didn't even need to use it. Cool. So I saved myself a leech. I saved myself a leech as well as the gate. Nobody's here. Or no, there's no chair here. Um, okay, now... I will... Place it like this and be very careful because similar similar to um sculptor's pick ability the gate itself comes out pretty fast so you want to try and be a little careful with it okay failed body block waste this pallet okay and then a quick down cool so she didn't realize she got a leech because she kind of just took off and i did put the gate down but it was with my main body and i guess she thought i was going to be coming through it here let's see uh i'll leech her wow just going for it again huh Yeah, see what I mean? So you gotta really be careful when you're trying to put it through walls. Um, because that'll mess you up. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Be very careful. I know it's kind of hard to see the gate. I really wish they made it a little bit thicker. So you could see where the fuck you're, like, putting it down. Because it's, it's really annoying. Um, ooh. Really, that wall didn't hit. Um... I really wish they would they didn't make the gate so clear because it's kind of hard to see like right away where it's at so hopefully they'll be able to adjust that sometime in the future all right roach is gone i didn't leech the toy merchant again just because i wanted to pressure um the roach however it is kind of hard to pressure with two leeches when someone's body blocking so it's always just something i try to look out for okay put his leech right there let me see, because I don't know where they're at. Back over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, little girl's teleporting away now, going to Prospector, and I know where they're at. I'm gonna leech her, just so I have somebody over here. And you know, I, actually, I can cut him off, because I know where he's coming from. I didn't even do anything, I just baited it. <laughs> okay. Don't think she has flywheel. GG's. 
I don't think it's a bad trait to start off with. I think it might just be... Um, it might just take some time before, you know, someone finds a good strategy how to use it, at, like, for early game. But I think it will save a lot of time for some characters that kind of depend on Blink. And I, well, you can also make the argument, well, if they're depending on this, I mean, why not just use Blink? Well, the thing about this trait that I like is if you're, you are able to basically cut off people as well as just pressure ciphers more. While, yes, you can use it similar to a blank in the sense where, like, you're kind of just placing yourself. You're sort of using the gate like a Dream Witch placement almost, where you're swapping positions, but you're just basically, all you're doing is just making yourself in a different, putting yourself in a different spot or a different placement. And I think that's going to be huge with some of the characters that kind of just lack that. But to go over the trait just a little bit more in detail, each set of portals can only be used two times. There is a three second cooldown after each teleport and each set of portals lasts up to 30 seconds. So yeah, so you can use this teleport, you can basically use these portals twice where like you go in it and then you go back um, through the other way, which again makes sense. You wouldn't want that to be up forever. It's like almost like a smaller global portal, but for hunters. Definitely I'm excited that this trait basically kind of came out of nowhere. And I'm happy that we have a new addition to the game. I'm sure there will be a lot of cool clips and moments um, from a lot of players with this. Can't wait to see how this gets used in tournaments. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to see how these future matches are going to go. Not just for me, but for all of my fellow hunters. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Good luck in your rank matches. This trait is not available yet in rank, but it should be by next season. So again, I'm looking forward to just testing this out and working with this trait a little bit more. But yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.